Hi everyone. In this video demo, we will show you the process of parallelizing a molecular dynamics code using the interactive parallelization tool. This molecular dynamics code was developed by John Burkhardt from the Florida State University. To begin with, we profile this serial molecular dynamics application using GProf. And as we can see from the report generated by GProf, the code spent 98.9% .9 of its time in a function named compute. So let's start by examining the code in the compute function and see if there are any hotspots for parallelization. This is the compute function in the molecular dynamics code and at line number 300 of this code we have a for loop that iterates for np times where np stands for the number of particles in the molecular dynamic simulation. In this for loop, we are computing the potential energy, Pe, the kinetic energy, Ke, and the force, F, of the particles participating in the simulation. Upon examining this for loop, we did not see any data dependency between the iterations, and hence, we think that this is a good candidate for distribution across multiple OpenMP threads. So let's start the process of parallelizing this code using IPT. We invoke IPT from the command line and pass the name of the input source code as an argument to IPT. Here the name of the input source code is md.c. At the very beginning, IPT prompts the user to select a parallel programming model of their choice. And here, because we want to generate an OpenMP program, let's enter 2. Next, IPT asks the user if they want to parallelize a for loop in the code that they provided as input. And let's say yes for this one. Next, IPT presents the user a list of the functions in the serial file that was provided to it and as we know that we are interested in parallelizing the for loop inside the compute function let's select the option number two for compute on the basis of the information that it has received thus far IPT does the static analysis of the code and presents some for loops to the user and ask the user if this is the for loop that they're interested in parallelizing. So in our case, the for loop presented by IPT is indeed the one that we want to parallelize, and hence we respond by yes to this question. Next, IPT prompts the user if they want to perform reduction on any variable. Let's say yes for this as well. Now, reduction variables are the variables that should be updated by the OpenMP threads and then accumulated according to a mathematical operation like sum, multiplication, etc. From the list that we're seeing on the screen, we want to reduce the values of Pe or potential energy and Ke, which means kinetic energy. So let's enter 7 and 8. Let's select these two options. Next, IPT prompts us for the type of reduction operation as in do we want to combine the local results of those threads using an addition operation, subtraction operation, min, max, or multiplication? Let's select addition here. Likewise, let's select to perform the reduction operation with addition for kinetic energy or Ke as well. Then IPT prompts the user if the entire array F is being updated inside a single iteration of the for loop or if only certain elements of this array are getting updated. In our case, only certain elements of this array F are updated in each iteration of the for loop that we selected to parallelize. And hence, we entered the option 2. IPT poses a similar question for another array named Rij. And this array is indeed getting updated in its entirety in a single iteration of the for loop. And hence, we enter 1 here. Next, IPT asks if there is any region of the code that should be executed using single thread at a time. And let's say to no for this one. IPT then asks if there is another for loop that we want to parallelize. Let's enter no for this one as well. Next, IPT asks us if we are interested in 
writing or printing anything from the paralyzed region? Let's say no as well. IPT then does some consistency checks and produces an output file named rows underscore md underscore openmp.c. Let's open this file and examine the code and see what IPT did. So IPT inserted the OpenMP pragmas for parallelizing the for loop. It created the clauses, shared, private, first private, Now let us compile the code and see if there are any errors. Seems like everything went well with the compile step. And now we can run the code. At the beginning, let's run the code using only one thread. And for doing so, we will set the environment variable ompnum thread to 1. Next, we will run the executable rows underscore md underscore omp with some arguments, which are 2, 500, 500, 0 0.01. And we will run this executable with the time command so that we can note the real time the code spends in running. So we see that the code took 6.649 seconds to run. Now let's run the code with 8 OpenMP threads and see if the runtime goes down. So we run the code again using the same arguments like before. 2, 500, 500, and 0 0.01. And this time we see that the runtime went down to 0 0.868 seconds. So you see there is about 88% reduction in the runtime of the code once we increase the number of OpenMP threads from 1 to 8. With this, we conclude this demo. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us through the comments section. Thank you.